Good afternoon, friends of Hearing Healthcare, Myrtle Beach. Today, my name is Mac, and today I'm uh, broadcasting live from Conway, South Carolina, one of our Hearing Healthcare offices. So, what we're going to be talking about today is what does an audiogram, which is the diagram of your hearing loss, what does an audiogram look like for someone with normal hearing versus someone with a hearing loss? All right, so today we're going to be looking at two fictional patients, two brothers named Mr. Joe Test and Mr. Jim Test. So first of all, we're going to take a look at Mr. Joe. All right, here's his audiogram. Now, this chart is plotting out his hearing across two axes. This way going down, that's in decibels. So that's going to show us the degree of loss, how bad that loss is in each area of his hearing. All right. So the further down these marks are on that chart, that's going to be worse hearing. Now, if you look at the marks, you can see we have red circles and blue X's. So the blue Red circle, that represents the right ear, all right? The blue X, that's gonna represent the left ear. Like I said, um, the further down that mark is on the chart, the worse his hearing is in that area, okay? Looking at his hearing, it goes from all the way on this side, low frequency noise to high frequency noise, okay? And that's measured in Hertz. 100 hertz all the way up to 8,000 hertz. So that allows us to um, get a general idea of what types of sounds he's having trouble hearing, okay? Over here on this side of the chart, below 1,000, that's low frequency noise. Now we classify that as background noise, like the traffic outside or maybe someone talking in the background at a restaurant, all right? On this side of the chart here, this is high frequency noise. So What's important about high frequency noise is it helps us understand speech, all right? So taking a look at his test, measured in decibels of hearing loss, he's landing in this zero to 20 area. Now, zero to 20, anything in that area, that's considered normal hearing, all right? So he has taken our test, and we call that a test, no loss. No hearing loss for this patient right here. Now let's take a look at his brother, okay? Mr. Jim Test. Here's his audiogram. You can see that's looking a little bit different, okay? I'm gonna draw a line here. Draw a line at zero to 20. That's gonna be our normal range of hearing. And you can see all of his marks are outside of that range, okay? So that's at very least showing us there is a degree of hearing loss. Now, how can we tell what type of degree of loss that is? Let's take a closer look. These marks are going down as they get higher. So the higher frequencies, that's where his worst, the worst loss is for this patient, okay? Now, we call this a sloping loss. It's a very common type of hearing loss. The implications of this are that, okay, over here, you're hearing pretty well. You're hearing pretty well in those low frequencies. That means you're hearing the background noise, okay? Now over here, that high frequency area, you're not hearing it. You're missing out on that. You can see this is all what you're missing out on. I'll just color it in that area. That's where a lot of those important speech sounds are that allow us to understand what somebody's saying. So when you have a degree of moderate, which this would be called a moderate hearing loss, you're gonna be missing out on a lot of what people are saying, having to ask them to repeat. And um, you know that's gonna be very difficult for you to understand them, okay? So once we take a look at this report, this allows us to, first of all, tell if you do have a hearing loss, what type of loss you have, how severe it is, the severity of that loss, 
And then when we look at this, this allows us to program hearing aids for you to get those fitted specifically to your hearing loss, all right? Now, the next steps going forward, we're gonna be looking at um, fitting you with some hearing aids based on this audiogram. Now, we're not gonna blast them up all the way. That's gonna be way too loud for you. We slowly work up to your prescription level so that you can comfortably adjust to hearing a whole new way because it really is a whole new way of hearing. It's not something that's gonna happen overnight. This is something that we'll be working together with. You'll be working with me or Carolyn or Thomas or any of the other specialists here to get you hearing the best you can, okay? Over a period of time, you're coming to see us, check up, say what's the problem, we make an adjustment. This line up here, zero, that's what's considered standard normal hearing when maybe you were 18 years old. We have to have expectations. It's never gonna be like it was when you were a teenager, but our goal is to get you as close to that as, as we can, all right? Thanks so much for tuning in today. My name's Mac. I'm one of the specialists here at Hearing Healthcare. Please give us a call sometime to set up your appointment to get your free hearing test. Um, our number's on the page, all right? So y'all have a great day. See you later.